Hello guys, this is Serge the Great and we are gonna learn something about Micro. So, basically Micro is controlling your army in battlefield, giving them orders, deploying, changing form formation and stuff like that. And many many players, new and old, ask for my, for my Micro why it's uh, pretty fast in, compar in comparison to Deer. Actually, there's nothing to hide and in this tutorial we are gonna learn how to play faster and better. So, uh, let's load this uh, custom battle, Blanced Army, and uh, well, uh, we are gonna start, uh, we are gonna divide this tutorial into three steps. The first one is definition of the micro, and we did it already. So, uh, why it's important to switch between units to to play with them much faster and uh, more effective because it allows you to respond to enemy moves fast and, effect and effectively it also much improves when, uh, your performance when you're rushing uh, the timing of the charge of cavalry and infantry is pretty much uh, it's pretty much one of the most important things uh, when, uh, when you play multiplayer or even single player battle so, uh, first of all, let's deploy our uh, balanced army. The rules 6 to cavalry, no gun alert, and I'm commanding friends and computer is commanding A. So, to play effectively, uh, you need to use more keyboard than mouse. Uh, this can uh, sound a little bit weird because most of the people play like that. Select unit, attack go back, select unit, attack, go back, select unit and uh, that's not really time effective so anyway uh, at the front lines you shall put 5 units of your cavalry some people uh, prefer to have general uh, in the center of uh, flank but I prefer uh, playing with him uh, more defensive so I keep him uh, as backup here anyway cavalry at the back like uh, color at the front line, sorry. Then uh, behind heavy infantry. Behind means not in the middle. That that's wrong. Don't do it. But behind, like three, four meters behind the first horse. Perfect. Of course, uh, we've got some pikes because it's uh, all period, so uh, we can deploy them behind. But I prefer to keep them. Keep them uh, close to missiles to, you know, to prevent uh, light cavalry and heavy cavalry charging right, uh, striking right into my crossbows. Anyway, uh, there are two options. The first is use groves, and the second is not use at all. And uh, this depends on you. Remember that groves are kind of bugged, and if you select entire group and select to attack one unit. Uh, they will not do it because uh, the AI uh, thinks the you, uh, thinks this is a wrong order to, for example, uh, rush four units uh, cavalry against one. But I'm used to use groups and I know perfectly how they will act. So, uh, so I, I do it. But uh, I will not say that. Uh, you have to do it. it. It depends on you. It's your personal preference. So we've got this nice formation, and uh, well, I uh, I turn on the guard mode for my general because it can help to avoid some traps. And that's a little bit uh, a trick. And well, let's start this. Uh, and by the way, this is pretty much flexible formation. One of the one of the best I use every day. So, uh, if you want, let me pause it. Many people place like this: select unit, select next unit, and it takes pretty much a long time to get the job done. I prefer to uh, using the tab key to switch between units. See this? And uh, if you will select a group or whole army, and if you will hold uh, hold uh, Alt key, you can move them uh, in the whole formation without uh, changing. 
let's demonstrate this. Hold the uh, Alt key and press right click, for example here, and see they pretty much have same formation. Uh, this first let you let you save uh, much more time than uh, deploying here and uh, regrouping and stuff like that. So out key is for moving whole army or group or units in the same formation. Uh, well, so uh, let's do normal time and now it's the most important thing. Aim at crossbows. If he, if your enemy got balanced army, if he's not, aim at cavalry. We will also demonstrate this at rushing. And here is the second most important thing: when you give attack to orders, you need to, you need to uh, do it first for cavalry because uh, the cavalry is faster than infantry. And you, if you will uh, give orders to infantry instead of making priority to cavalry. The formation uh, most, uh, will most likely be uh, broke. So it shall look like this. Select first cavalry unit at flank. Click attack and see this. Use the tab key to to switch between unit curves. And it's pretty much awesome thing when you are uh, when you need uh, to save your time. Of course, if you will start doing this, uh, you will feel kind of weird. Because most of the people, as I say, to medium times already prefer to use mainly mice, but it's not really effective. And the second uh, part is ordering uh, infantry to attack, and usually one one unit per one unit. And pikes are a little bit tricky. I prefer to use the guard mode, and then disable this and enable spear roll, close enemy lines. So, uh, well, uh, we are going to take this Spain army head on. And uh, here it comes the first, the most important moment in the whole battle is initial charge, in my opinion. So, to do it properly, you need to, to get timing. I highly adv advise you doing this on, multi on single player custom battle before you will join multiplayer game. Uh, heavy cavalry are close to each other, but at pretty much this distance, 100 meter most likely, you press R to make them run, and they will run. Then immediately, without second, press run to infantry, and then you will get perfect, perfect uh, initial charge. And by the way, I'm using the I'm using the total war style setup. If you press F1, you can get other setups switching here and uh, well you can actually customize it it all depends on uh, on your choice so here it comes the field church and computer isn't uh, isn't competitive uh, player so he will play it right into this bait and uh, let me pause it to show in uh, one second oh well, well maybe in fi five seconds he lost 32 persons of army. That's kind of a great number. That's a great deal to make. So uh, you need to pull back your cavalry off. In uh, that's always that's always problem for new players. When pretty much after 10-15 seconds, it depends. Uh, an example: Does he have pikes or is your cavalry losing like this unit shaken? If we remain true and steadfast, you need to get this time. You can see this all the his cavalry is routing. Of course, in multiplayer it, it won't be so easy. But uh, and actually, I forgot. Uh, if you got crossbows, aim at his cavalry in the second stage and pull back your cavalry to the flanks. Don't uh, don't throw them off here to 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 avoid uh, clusters. But. Uh, Remember that uh, <coughs> chasing unit is also very important because these guys have elite morale, uh, I believe 90, and they will come back. So chase them down if you can. And see this, they came back. But Pavis, an example, Pavis Crossroad have low morale, so I don't care. And General's bodyguard, of course. I have to kill him. 
was busy talking and well pretty much all Spain army is routing and I lost only 12 approximately 12% 12 of my soldiers so uh, that's the importance of uh, that's importance of uh, having uh, having optimized micro and use this use this effectively against enemy and remember about cavalry book push to uh, because it's kind of annoying when uh, when what the heck is going on oh never mind uh, when uh, like that coward is press onward and break when you push through and uh, the cavalry book is uh, cavalry book isn't uh, this thing you shall avoid. I will make a next video how to avoid this and what does it mean, but for now we are focusing on microing. So, hope this battle helped uh, help in uh, understanding why hotkeys are much faster than, than using a mouse. And of course, I don't think so in the multiplayer, someone would just charge right into this pipe and but who cares, it was just the demonstrate video and I'm gonna speed up this a little mm. Give me one second Our men are winning the battle. So the next one you are gonna play is... Uh, so that's her victory Captain Gasset lost only 132 people lost and uh, soldiers and killed uh, much more. And uh, the step 2 is pretty much uh, very similar to step uh, 1. Actually, let's load this custom battle, and that was uh, Rush. So, remember hotkeys, and the second most important thing here is. To protect your general, to use him rather defensive than aggressive, and to actually, what I'm gonna say, uh, <coughs> sorry, uh, aim with formation that lets you save time. Don't mess up deploying like most of the people do multiplayer. An example: the, imagine that this is two versus two, and they are deploying there, and teammate is here alone and. He or me can be double team, and that's not a good thing to see. Deploy close to the alley, and if you are rushing in one versus one, deploy close to this uh, line. And instead, when you are playing Balancet, deploy a little bit back because when they will be rushing, it will be took some more time to, <coughs> sorry, to get uh, to get this place, and you got uh, some bonus time. Anyway, deploy my cavalry in all good setup. Then uh, put behind Shivali Knights. And by the way, I'm commanding Hungary, my ally is commanding, I believe, Sicily. And now, uh, new unit you shall know is this Axeman. Axeman not, or a little bit worse, uh, a little bit worse uh, unit of uh, Woodsmen uh, by uh, Russia and Poland. So they are basically two handers. And they are great to taking off some enemy cavalry and do some shock, uh, some shock approaches on the infantry. But don't expect they will hold uh, long time because they uh, they got low morale and almost no no def defense because they got no armor or light armor. And the most important thing uh, you shall know when you're rushing is uh, put some buffer units. Peasants or better crossbow militia to to avoid uh, light cavalry or horse archers is timing between sphere strike and uh, infantry strike. It's especially tough when you are facing someone who's got the pikes. Anyway, starting off this battle, we've got city. So now I'm gonna use these guys as uh, mid shields. I don't really care about them, and time to. Time to strike right here, and see this. That's why you why you shall to get familiar with uh, 
gets familiar with uh, hotkeys. So right now I'm uh, running my infantry, same with uh, missiles, and the computer is actually doing uh, nice thing. Uh, he's killing some of my cavalry. We will train this uh, in the next battle. And because computer is a little bit stupid, I'm gonna charge right into this Paris crossbows and put my general right to left flank to make some hammer and anvil. It's very useful to have this unit uh, behind uh, behind enemy lines. So uh, first charge and these guys, these guys are done. And time to strike. Uh, actually, let's pull back my general. Time to strike with my cavalry. And see, computer pretty much screwed up his formation perfectly. Here it comes, the first charge. Oh, this guy's actually screwed up. But uh, Royal Bandarium doing great job here. These guys outnumbered. And see, we got some route. So pretty much all is down to your reflex and timing. And that's why you shall train micro. And after this initial charge you, you shall pull back your cavalry to the flanks. And the rest shall be easy. It actually depends uh, which level are you playing. Anyway, uh, let's kill this royal bandarium. Oh, and as we can see the computer is using cavalry book. Most likely he does know that it exists. And these guys, alright. So the uh, pack militia, not really. The enemy are badly bloodied. And remember that pack militia is pretty much crap units, but charging right into them isn't your best choice. By the grace of our men have slain the enemy, the enemy general, that's great. And they got very low morale, so if they are wavering or shaken, you can charge even from uh, back. Maybe not even from back, I, I gotta say that uh, you can charge from flank, like from this angle, and they will route, most likely. Of course, do not use your general unless you have to. And now chase down these guys because they can came back. Uh, what's left? Oh, this unit. And General's bodyguard. Let's kill him. And I forgot to say that there is actually a Steam version of this guide. So be sure to check it out. It's pretty much the same thing uh, I'm doing here but without live demonstration and there's a link in the description. To, to this guy. So this clear, this is clear victory. I pretty much screwed up uh, initial charge here, but it doesn't really matter. Captain Ulashlo won this battle, and it's time to last step to improve your micro, micro and play better is countering the rush. Excellent of countering the rush, no battle, custom battle, and uh, countering the rush. Perfect. And the last step is pretty much logical conclusion. Practice, practice and practice your micro whenever uh, whenever you can. In single player, in multiplayer, test uh, what is working for you and what what is not. Trade new setups, new army compositions in single player before uh, joining multiplayer. Then switch to competitive gameplay or just multiplayer game. Train with friends, with enemies, train with anyone. And of course, at uh, at the beginning you will lost some battles, especially uh, when you're new to hotkeys, and maybe even the whole hotkeys stuff isn't for you. If it's not work for you, use your mouse. There's nothing worse to play game uh, without enjoying it. So right now I'm commanding the Holy Roman Empire, and actually I'm gonna counter this rush from the friends. And uh, that's pretty much uh, all all the battles. And these guys here. I wanted to show show you off, and remember about this guard mode. It's it's very useful. And if you are uh, if you are uh, suspicious or if you are expecting that enemy will rush, 
you can actually deploy here, maybe in a here, here uh, get some horse archers to harass him off. And uh, well, starting this battle, we've got uh, friends rushing right into me with two units of crossbows. Then they are cheap crossbows, and uh, the army composition is pretty much the same. And now we have to deal with this Flemish pikes, so the initial charge will be a little bit different. The most important thing is to disable the wheel mode because most likely they will aim at shit units. You need to aim at cavalry. Uh, actually, not, not like this. Perfect. And right now, you have to put your pikes here. Uh, guard mode. And now you can order infantry to catch them. And here it comes a little bit different because computer is pretty much stupid, so I can't do this charge. But against multiplayer, uh, against uh, human player, it won't work really well. So he will put the spikes behind. And that's mistake. And now press run to well to to run with your cavalry and see how much percent enemies killed 3 to 1 30 34% percent and I lost only a few units so now pull back because we are uh, stay strong and an enemy will be defeated I completely agree with this guy and actually aim at this cavalry and uh, maybe even a general's bodyguard and chase them down I'm pretty much slow today but my speed is enough to talk and play and that's uh, and remember alone pikes means pretty much nothing it's not from one total war that they can be they can be useful uh, as uh, independent force you have to support them and if you want to kill them, do it, uh, especially when uh, first kill the other uh, infantry and cavalry, then you can deal with pikes. They are actually very slow, so you can run with crossbows, split your crossbows at the flanks and hit them, hit them all. Then let's actually kill the rest of this friend, friend shit here. So, I have no idea I helped anyone with this microing guide. Uh, let me know in the comment, uh, in the private message or uh, in any way you would like to. Like and subscribe if you want to see more of these tutorial videos and well ne next one is gonna be... Uh, next next topic will be the calorie book, push through. And the last thing you need to remember, uh, don't fire when... Uh, Broken the enemy army. Now it is time to crush the swine. Remember that uh, you can't. Uh, you can kill your own cavalry or units with friendly fire, so avoid it. It's better to pull the crossbows back or uh, to the flanks to avoid friendly casualties. And the last thing I wanted to say, by, uh, but I forgot. If you don't use the groves, mm, you can, an example. Hold Control key and press double click on uh, last unit, for example, and uh, this will select, this will highlight all the same units card. And actually, there's one other tip. If you will uh, select, for example, this, uh, imagine you have straight line of these units from this pipe crossbow to this unit, and you want to select them all. So we can do it manually like this, which is kind of slow and boring. But if you hold shift, you can just select this unit and they will automatically select all from this to this and maybe even like whole army. And this works for groups too, but remember groups are kind of bucket, so we need to know how this works. And the last key you want to know is the shift. Shift, it shows off the unit destination or attack orders. So right now, an example, if I will... Uh, order them to kill this one guy the shift will uh, aim at him so that's great how to that's great way how to know what is going on in the battlefield this flesh unit is very useful especially at team battles 
to actually the last uh, the last key I wanted to say is uh, hmm, uh, if you are press if you will get the rally troops ability and uh, for some people then if you will check the minimal hat uh, this can be useful see this you can uh, you got no flash button but you got pretty much more space and you can easily hide this because it's like slide but I'm used to play as bubble hat here and uh, well uh, that, that is, that's the tutorial for microing for optimize and boost up, up your micro thank you for watching hope you enjoyed this one and like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one cheers